So welcome to another video on the Inferno CTF. We're going to be looking at the where did he go reversing challenge. The description is get set go. So uh, we get uh, started with a, a test.go file. If you take a look at that file, uh, we pretty much see this main method or function rather that's going to ask us for a password. It's going to read, it, read that password in and then it's going to compare uh, that password with this uh, ENCY string, but our password is going to get run through these uh, functions with obscure naming. Um, so let's actually start running this code. So I just copy it and paste it in an online uh, Golang compiler. We're going to start off with making it a little bit easier on us. We're going to remove these two imports and actually remove this whole password thing and set our user input to a string. Uh, so let's start with test. So now we should be able to execute it fine and it should get us, well, the don't worry, relax, chill and try harder because our password was not correct. Um, so pretty much we want a password that's equal to this and that's going to be a string uh, composed of these bytes so what I like to do in these challenges is just randomly start printing stuff. So let's start printing uh, out this NCY. Uh, and let's also print out what actually happens to our input. So if we print that out, uh, don't forget the semicolons. And execute that. Um, so this was our input. Our input was test and it pretty much just got reversed and this ENCY uh, well is pretty a readable text but just reversed. So let's actually reverse that. Uh, let's do this in Cyberchef because I think that's going to hopefully be the, the solution. Once we get Cyberchef open and we reverse this thing, we get Go Programming is great, which looks a lot like uh, a possible flag. Let's enter that as our user input, see if it executes. You cracked it, a hero is born. So this is our flag. So if we do Inferno CTF and submit that, that's our flag. So thanks for watching this uh, video um, and I hope to see you in, a, in another one.